Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. <laughs> and I am back over here at the house build. This is day 112. Oh, hello Lucy. How are you? Because eating crackers today. Oh, congratulations on your cracker eating. But with MJ we did sharing. Oh, very nice. And who is MJ? Uh, our cousin. That's your cousin? Yes, because we just go outside. Okay. And that's MJ over there in the yellow shirt. Yeah. All right. So we're... Have a cup and a stubborn tea cracker. So these guys are mixing up the mortar that's going in between the hollow blocks. There's Spartacus. Spartacus just got a, a haircut here. We'll show that, that off. It looks kind of like a Shaolin monk now. And this is the kitchen here. This is the area with the window where I had the two windows. Uh, the window here and the window here. And we just ended up making this window larger. That way we could go ahead and fill in this window. And that's just so we can add more cabinets. So that has already been taken care of. Not a, it wasn't a big change. And then also we are gonna get the counter, the countertops raised to 36 inches, so that way I'm not dealing with uh, um, a sink and a countertop in the kitchen. That's oops, oops, sorry. Just stepped on Spartacus. That's less than 36 inches, or just above the knee. So that would be rough. Um, this is that back room. I know that we had put in some more hollow block here. I don't know if it looks any different from the last video, and we did go ahead and put the hollow block and this is four inch because it'll actually be an interior wall if we ever take this uh, the wood house down if it rots in a couple of years and we need to um, then add we would add back with uh, cement hollow block for, for sure so. and this is the bathroom here windows gonna go up top there and we need to at some point fairly soon add or go ahead and put the order in for those windows once I once I am sure we've got the right number and which sizes we need we'll go ahead and do that which is actually gonna be pretty soon that's, that's just kind of a reminder to myself um, this wall a hollow block here that was new It's moving along, that's fresh. Uh, but the big work that's been done on the project here is are these columns for the stairwell. And this is gonna be the stairwell that kind of goes from the side dining, the side of the dining area from the kitchen over there. And kind of like the living area and the, the wood portion there. Um, and this, the stairwell will go right up to the bedroom the master bedroom and then we've got a couple columns those columns got put up the walls getting put up and that hollow block there is all new today and that's not just every 60 centimeters they add a horizontal uh, steel bar that goes across as well so that's a additional reinforcement I just want to get up here we have, we're going to start harvesting some corn on Monday, so we got some sacks to be able to sack up the corn. And I guess there seems like those sacks of corn, are, or empty sacks, are kind of fun to play on. That's one room we've got back here. And we're using this as another kind of a storage room. We had some more sacks, but we actually just got a thousand more, so we'll, we should be good on that. So they're mixing that mortar there and the water that they're getting for that 
they actually bring it up from the, they call it a, a spring, but it's just kind of a clean creek down at the, oh, I'm actually, I'm trying to point to it, but it's actually down at the bottom of the hill over here. And uh, uh, folks get their drinking water, they, they wash their clothes there, they, they bathe in it. Um, and so we've got these containers to collect the water and uh, we're just bringing it up by the, with the Carabao cart. And this is the new Carabao cart. And we had an issue where it had, it had it was brand new, hadn't used it. Uh, the tire over here was flat, so I had to take it to the vulcanizer, get them to patch it, and, but it's fine now. So that's good because we're going to need these. These carts are going to see some heavy use here come Monday because we're going to start that corn harvest. Well, hello. Yeah. I do have a couple bunches of bananas over here. We gotten a hot tip that the banana bandits might be coming uh, tonight, so we went ahead and harvested those. I know it's only a couple of bunches, but uh, we had just harvested last week, and prior to that, it was just two weeks before, so I, I didn't expect to have uh, too many there. In fact, we don't we don't have that many bananas anyway. But I had just recently planted a bunch more of those bananas, which I've done the video, showed some of the videos on. So come next year, we should have significantly more. I don't know. So that's what we've got going on for uh, day 112 of the house construction over here. I'll keep you guys updated. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.